Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number four of the APA and this is actually going to be the final match with this team. We are going to have a whole new draft for the next week. Uh, we've already drafted it. My team is pretty is pretty wild. Uh, this will be the last team with our first draft and we are up against Kelly under the radar and he has in a bananas team. But uh, straight away we see the Gengar, Ludicolo, uh, Pelipper uh ferrothorn licky licky and alolan muck so right off the bat no coco no coco and no mega swamper which is kind of wild but what else what else no mesper no mesper is pretty huge no kingdra i was really afraid of the kingdra but yeah no mega swamper it's probably the biggest one that just is wild to me okay okay um, Halucha and Coco was actually the reason for a Flame Orb Jolteon, but it honestly makes me just want to... Is there a downside to leading off with my Beedrill? I don't think there is, but I'm going to lead off with my Jolteon, I think. I might want to lead off with... Hmm. Let me think. Let me think this through. I'm going to lead off with the Jolteon. Um, my lead options were between my Jolteon, my Beedrill, and my Scarf Landorus potentially, but I think realistically, uh, the best option is the Jolteon, I think. I think. But let's see here. Um, yeah, my Landorus is just made to outspeed a max speed um, Tapu Koko. It really isn't an awkward speed tier where I'm not really outspeeding a whole heck of a lot. But let's see. Let's see. Does lead off with this thing. Oh, I did not take a screenshot, but I'm going to screenshot the bottom screen right now. So at least I have something to work off of. Uh, doesn't have real switch ins to Volt Switch. Doesn't have real switches to Volt Switch. I'm really feeling like Volt Switch is relatively free. And and also not Drizzle. I think you forgot Drizzle? What is, what even is its other ability? I have to check what the other ability is. I have to assume it's a mistake. But yeah, the Ludicolo is gonna be super hamstrung now. Uh Pelipper. Kenai and Raindish are its other. Uh, potential abilities, but there's no reason not to just click Volt Switch here. I do have Hidden Power Grass specifically for the um, specifically for the Mega Swampert, which is not going to be an issue anymore. And he's not going to really know. He's not really going to know that I am Flame Orb for a little while longer, but does go into the Licky Licky. This actually might allow me to go into. This might actually allow me to go into uh, my Scizor and attempt to set up. I do get a free Sword Dance up with Scizor. I don't know. Let's let's try to do something with Scizor. I think at the very least, Scizor would potentially scare this thing out. Um, and yeah, that was about 20%. I would have to imagine that... This that this Licky Licky is pretty specially defensive. Yeah, I think it, I think it has to be assault vested to do that little damage. Okay, it doesn't have to be assault vested, but it is almost certainly max. Oh, no, we just saw leftovers, so it's definitely max uh, special defense. And by going into Scizor. Superpower on its own does a lot of damage. But I'm going to click Swords Dance. Does withdraw. Uh, goes in a Falcon, which is the Pelipper. Uh, I would be very surprised if this Pelipper had Hidden Power Fire. Um, any type of Scald is not going to be boosted, so we potentially take a decent Scald. Uh, this thing does not have Drizzle. 
Um, but yeah, we don't do a whole much, a whole heck, we don't do a whole heck of a lot to a Pelipper. We don't do a whole lot to Pelipper. Even at plus two. Yeah, we'll just switch out here. I could just go into... I could just go into... No. Cresselia is kind of useless against this team. I'm going to go into Jolteon here. I'm going to go into Jolteon here. Let's go for the Scald. Uh, I'm Flame Orb anyway, so if anything, I kind of hope he's, he burns me. Um, we'll see how how much he was paying attention because if he saw that I was that that was the Flame Orb popping and uh, instead of the Scald burn, then uh, that would be interesting. But regardless, I think I just Volt Switch out. If he wants to bring back the, the, the Licky Licky, then. If anything, I think it'll just um, let me pivot a little bit here. From If he does go back into the Licky Licky, Landorus might honestly be a better play here. Also, Beedrill is a, is a potential here. Does go into this thing. Alolan Muck. Let's see here. Alolan Muck against a Beedrill. Juron does a lot. But what does Shadow Sneak do? What does Shadow Sneak Shadow Sneak is not doing nearly enough. Actually, no. No, 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 no. My play should be to go into... My play should be to go into the Landorus, and you turn with the Landorus, right? I think there's no downside to you turning with Landorus. I'm gonna go into Beedrill. I'm gonna go into Beedrill. And I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and click U-Turn. I think that's gonna be the best play no matter what I do. Uh, unfortunately, my Landorus is going to be a little bit hamstrung because of that Pelipper. I can't freely go for Earthquakes just yet. And he has to play with that Pelipper really, really carefully because of my Jolteon. And because um, allowing my Landorus to, to really do its thing is going to be pretty dangerous in the longer run of this match. But does withdraw. Yeah, this was pretty much expected. Um... But I, I felt like I couldn't not go for a U-turn in this situation. Now, I would be super curious as to what kind of damage I'm doing to this thing. Let's see. That's almost exactly 35%. No, 30%. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's about 30 to 35%. Uh, so that almost definitely means max defense. What I could do is I could go into... Is I could go into... No, that's not an option, really. So if this thing is max defense... I wonder if... My... my Landers becomes an option. No, Landers isn't doing nearly enough. I could go into Landers and go for Stealth Rocks here. I think I might just do that. I think I think we might just exchange Rocks. I guess I wouldn't mind that too, too much. I guess I wouldn't mind that too, too much. Um, if we do just exchange Rocks, then I think my play would have to be to go into Scizor. If for no other reason, just to scare this thing out. Um, my Scizor does have to do a lot, though, because uh, Superpower is my only real way of hitting the Licky Licky, both the Licky Licky and the Ferrothorn. So, 
if anything, if he switches out, then I would love to make him think that I'm a more, like, mixed defensive landers or anything like that. But does go for Hidden Power Ice. That's gonna be wild. Okay. Doesn't do a whole lot, but uh, that's definitely interesting. That's definitely interesting. I mean, it will be a two-hit KO, which is something. But if this is Hidden Power Ice, then... Hmm. See, the Stealth Rocks are going to make Pelipper... It's going to put Pelipper on a little bit of a timer, but regardless, I think what it does more so, it, it is allows my Scizor to get a Sword Dance up even more because now I can potentially take a Scald, and if I don't get burned, then I can potentially two-hit the, um, the Pelipper in this situation. So I would be kind of curious to see... Um, what kind of situation I can get into there. Regardless, I have no other play but to click Source Dance right now. And I would assume that the Pelip would, would want to come in. Possibly the Ludicolo. Ludicolo might be, might have Hidden Power Fire. Actually, Hidden Power Fire is super um, unlikely just because of the rain options. And... Presumably, he, he would have built this Ludicolo to be used in rain. But if he's going to let me Swords Dance, then I think I can get to plus four at least. He's going to knock off my leftovers, but I'm okay. My full set is just uh, Bullet Punch, Super Power, Swords Dance, and Roost. So I'm going to click Swords Dance again. I'm going to click Swords Dance again. And I'm gonna do whatever the heck I can against this against this thing. I think if I get to plus four, a Lolan Muck might not even be like a proper switch in anymore. And if he lets me get to plus six, then that would be nuts. But does go back into this thing. And I'm super curious what, as to what we do against the Pelipper. Because I am a plus four. Bullet Punch is almost definitely a 2 KO in this situation. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that, but uh, we didn't see any leftovers. This thing could actually be Damp Rock, and if it's Damp Rock, um, then it basically just doesn't have an item because it's not Drizzle. So we just have to not get burned in this situation. Don't burn me, bro, please. No burn. Okay, okay. Now, we're in a situation where I think... Mm, no, Ludicolo comes in and Ludicolo really hurts me quite a bit. Ludicolo hurts me quite a bit here, I think. But if the Ludicolo does come in, if the Ludicolo does come in, then... No, I don't do any reasonable damage to Ludicolo, I don't think. But is it worth... It's almost definitely worth saving Scizor if the Ludicolo comes in right now. Actually... Yeah, this is almost definitely Ludicolo, yeah. Bullet Punch does so much damage, but I can't... <sighs> Superpower is my only way of getting the Licky Licky. Actually, okay, okay. Potentially, you turn Beedrill into Cresselia. <sighs> but then I don't really have anything for the Ferrothorn either. I really want to get this damage off with Bullet Punch, though. I really want to get this Bullet Punch damage off. Scald, um, yeah, Scald should pretty much be guaranteed, I imagine. I mean, this is, this is assuming a max, oh, this is assuming max special attack life orb. This might not be max special attack life orb. You know what? We'll just see if I can do anything with two bullet punches. 
Maybe I crit? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's Z move. That's that's fine, I guess. My better play would have been to sack something here. I could have gone into Cresselia. Cresselia would have been a, a decent play. Yeah, this could be bad. This could be bad. If I give up another win con, man, because I because I recently got uh, five would after I gave up a win con, an, a di a, an, a, in a completely different match. So I hope I didn't just do that, but. Presumably, my Beedrill comes in, claims a KO here. My Beedrill should come in and uh, claim a KO here. Oh, I didn't click switch, sorry. Um, He could go into the Ferrothorn, maybe keep this Ludicolo for later, but... That seems kind of unlikely. I just click U-turn here. i probably go into Cresselia. Cresselia would bait in the Alolan Muck, maybe? And man, I really never have an a, a solid answer for Alolan Muck. Well, okay, my Landorus is, but, um... Actually... With this and the Pelipper gone, Landorus doesn't have too many impediments. The Ferrothorn is still going to be a huge, huge issue. The Ferrothorn is always going to be a huge, huge issue. But also, now my Grand Bull doesn't do anything, so my Grand Bull can kind of be a floating kind of sack defensive check to something. Maybe get it intimidated off on the Licky Licky if it's some sort of weird Swords Dance explosion Licky Licky. I would not put that past Kelly at all. But, uh, man, I, I honestly should not be struggling this much against a team, a, a rain team without Drizzle. But, the thing is, I built for so many Drizzle, for so many rain team threats, and this particular set of threats that he has here, I am very unprepared for. I'm very, very unprepared for. And the fact that Scizor went down... Is potentially a big issue for me. Now, we saw the Z move already spent. I don't think this thing can do anything that would KO me in one hit. Like, the specs Gengar KO me? Choice specs Gengar? It does not. Oh, that's. Sorry, that's against Scissor. Against Cresselia? It does not. And Psyshock doesn't KO either, but, uh... Let me see, if I'm at plus one... After Leftovers... If I Calm Mind here... And this is Specs. If I were to Calm Mind here... Then I think I take a second Shadow Ball. And this is against Specs, so this is worst case scenario. Do I click on mine? Because then, if I take another one, then I can moonlight up on the next one. I'm going to try. Ugh. This could be bad, but I'm going to give it a try. Goes for the Shadow Ball. We go from 206 down to 71. It's Life Orbed. Yeah, I don't think... We don't take... We don't ever take another one. This thing is Modest Life Orb, which I think is the difference here. I don't know why else this calc would steer me so wrong. But I went from 206 down to 74. Should I actually do this this calculation? 206 down to 74. And now we divide that by 1.5. It same roll does 88 points to me. So, there's a chance that I take another one, but it's not looking good at all. But this thing is life orbed. Do I just sack off this Cresselia? Do I just sack off this Cresselia? Do I sack off this Cresselia? I could sack off the Grand Bull. I could sack off the Grand Bull. 
But man, if I can take this next Shadow Ball, then... You know what? Let's click Moonlight. I don't know. This this calc definitely steered me wrong. For sure, for sure. Um, Even if this thing is modest... Yeah, we don't take it. Even if this thing is modest, I don't know why this calc would steer me so wrong. Modest Life Orb. Yeah, Modest Life Orb should not be doing that much, unless these are just super high rolls. But, it is what it is. I can go into Jolteon. No, I go into... I go into Landorus here. I go into Landorus here. I click Earthquake. He probably goes into Ferrothorn. I go into... I go into... Um... I go into Grand Bull. And... Then I attempt to do some other things. Let me see. How much damage do we do? Can we potentially take this thing out? Can we potentially two hit? This is max attack adamant. That's That looks like a... Mm, not after leftovers. We would have to risk it after leftovers. But I think it's okay. I think it's okay. If we go into Grand Bowl right now. It's literally the, um, what I was just saying that I should do. Landorus potentially wins? Question mark? We just need a little bit more damage. We just need a little bit more damage. But against the Ferrothorn... Um, if he stays in on the Grand Bull with the Ferrothorn, then I could click Low Kick. He's thinking about if he wants to switch out. Um, if he stays in right now, then I potentially click Low Kick. And, uh, we can go from there. Clicks Power Whip. He maybe thinks that this is a sack, but, um, I mean, it kind of is, but could go into the Muck right now. Muck would be an awkward switch in, but I think Low Kick is okay here. I think Low Kick is okay here. He might either think that this is a sack, or just... If he stays in to maybe, like, click Leech Seed or something like that, that would be a good play. But again, I do have the low kick, which would kind of, um, mess him up a little bit. I guess... I guess we just have to see. I guess we just have to see. Man, again, Kelly's playing with essentially four and a half Mons. Because, I mean, I still think Ludicolo is a, a decent mon on its own, with or without rain, but Pelipper was at, was pretty much useless. At least the way that he built it. it. It probably didn't even have an item, so... That's a mon gone, and then... Ludicolo is like half a mon. Without rain, and... He still could potentially super duper beat me right now. I'm curious as to how much a low kick does against an Alolan Muck. Or at the very least, like, what the base damage is. Does withdraw... Uh, that is the muck. Low kick should not do a whole lot. I mean, it does enough, right? It does enough. And if he's not intimidated, then poison jab does around half. Low kick might be my last way of dealing with, um, of dealing with Ferrothorn, though.
Part of me really wants to click Thunder Wave here. Maybe I just give up my Jolteon here. Yeah, Jolteon's not going to do anything for the rest of this match. It can potentially KO the Gengar, but so can a lot of things. And if this thing is a berry, then I really want to keep this thing above 50%. So, I, so doing, an, doing another bit of damage with low kick would be potentially catastrophic here. So yeah, I just want to let him not uh, poison jab me. And that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but it's okay. And now, we can go back to getting our free earthquakes off with uh, the boy here. This is gone. Um... He could potentially try to Shadow Sneak me, but I don't see that as what he would want to do here. These rocks are really taking a toll, but um, the Licky Licky could potentially still beat me, which is kind of wild to think about. But man, again, the team that I brought here is not the team that I think that I could beat. I built a team for a very different team. And again, Kelly is good enough where he can beat me with not even a full roster, so. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I had to build so particularly for the types of mons that he could bring in rain that it really is catching me out of position here. Landorus potentially wins, but even then it feels tenuous here. It feels really tenuous here. How much am I doing to a max HP Licky Licky? That's, I guess, really what I gotta know. Uh, I know that it's max special defense. I know that. But what am I actually doing in terms of real heckin' damage? We're only doing about 50. So, realistically, I need to get a fat low kick off with Gramble. Which means... Hmm. Ferrothorn potentially comes in to attempt to eat up a... I don't know, it just goes into this. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, I mean, my play has to be to go Gramble here. The play has to be to go Gramble here. So this is interesting. I don't know if this is like a Swords Dance set or anything like crazy, crazy like that. But. If this does try to set up or like Wish or anything like that, then I could Roar. If it goes for a wish, then but then it's probably gonna have protect for the follow-up turn. Because he knows how bad a potential low kick would be from a grand bull here. Hmm. But it goes for the body slam. That doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. I'm curious if he would go into into um into Gengar right now. I'm curious if he would go into Gengar right now. Or should I just click, click low kick? He knows that I have low kick. I've already revealed low kick. Gengar is such a good option for him if he knows that I'm going to click low kick right now. I'm going to click Thunder Wave. No, it stays in. It does stay in, so potentially just... A bad play. Goes for a wish. I don't think that'll help him too, too much. He could go into the Gengar right now, which would be real, real bad. Maybe I Thunder Wave twice just to... Um... Scare the Gengar into coming in. He has no real reason to wish pass into Gengar, though. It's such, a, it's such an unnecessary risk. It's such an unnecessary risk.
I'm gonna click low kick. He, he has real no reason to to wish pass right now when I potentially have earthquake. Like that could potentially be a game choking play. Does withdraw. Goes into the Ferrothorn. This might. This is interesting. We don't quite KO. We get some damage dealt. But. I think we. I think at the end, we come out on top of this exchange. Um. Yeah, we for sure just click low kick again. We keep spamming low kick until this thing goes down. Then, if this thing is still up, we bring in the... We bring in the... Well, until he, br until he aggressively brings in the Gengar. But that's not really an option, because... If he takes me out, then I bring in the Beedrill... Uh, I wonder if he's gonna be that Leech Seed Protect nonsense. Just goes for a knockoff. That's fine. That's fine. This is so interesting because I think we've seen we've seen power. So you can't have Leech Seed. I don't think we've seen Power Whip knockoff. Power Whip knockoff. What else have we seen? I'm not sure what else we've seen. Does he bring in the Gengar? It does. Okay. I mean, if he decides to take me out aggressively, then... I go into... Landorus. I go into Landorus. No, I have to go into Beedrill first. Yeah, I for sure have to go into Beedrill first. Basically, what I need to happen, what I need to happen, is for Beedrill to come in and be able to take out be able to take out Gengar and the thing is, I need to deal some damage to the licky licky to the licky licky. Otherwise, licky licky beats me. Um, now the Ferrothorn's probably gonna come in, and he wins because the licky licky beats me. I think he beats me. There's not... Mm. So yeah, I think for sure... For sure, for sure... Oh, he brings this thing in. That's wild. I mean, I can poison jab this thing. For sure. B drill against Licky Licky. Max HP Licky Licky poison jab. I think... I'm, my mind is blown right now because I think... That the Ferrothorn is low enough where... I think the Ferrothorn is low enough where, um, oh, unless this thing is Custat Berry. Bro, if he's baiting me into Custat Berry, I don't even know what to say at that point. Is he baiting me into Custat Berry? No, I've seen Leftovers. I've already seen Leftovers. Oh my god. Because Kelly would do that. No, Kelly would absolutely do that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think it's a choke. I feel like it's a choke because... If he brings in Ferrothorn, then my Beedrill can't take out Ferrothorn on its own. And then my Landers has to come in, lock an Earthquake, take out the Ferrothorn, and then his Licky Licky would be healthy enough to take a hit, Body Slam, and then win, I think. I don't know. It, And it honestly really depends on how low the Ferrothorn is as well, because I'm pretty positive that the Ferrothorn is 
really low right now. So, I guess we just see whatever happens. I'm gonna definitely, definitely have to talk to him after this match to see what either of us could have done. Maybe that Barret Thorn just cut step? No, I'm pretty positive we've already seen leftovers on that as well. But, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really intrigued by what just happened. And don't get me wrong, I 100% choked by that whole scissor play, but uh, by leaving in the scissor to take, eat that Hydro Vortex, when I very easily could have gone into um, Cresselia and allowed my, allowed my, um, scissor to live another day, but this could go down to a roll here. I feel like uh, we might just be able to take this thing out. I don't quite know. I don't quite know. Ugh, we missed out on the KO. And the HP Ice is going to KO. Okay. So yeah, no. He, he, he knew what he was doing. Part of me feels like that was a... Part of me feels like that was a roll, but... Uh, I don't know. He beat me. Like I said, he, he didn't even have to bring a full team to beat me. He didn't even have to bring his first round pick. He didn't even have to bring Coco Lucha. He just destroyed me. So, with that, that's going to be week four. We're going to end up with this draft 2-2. Two and two, And uh, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again with a whole new draft, a whole new team. Uh, this is a really rough loss. I'm going to take this loss pretty rough. For a while, but uh, with that, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Gonna be once again. Out.